Hello and welcome to today's video. Uh, we will be building upon the previous video where I talked about some basic commands to operate Linux. In case you missed it, you can click on the information icon on the top right. So key topics under which the commands I'm going to talk about today are manuals, moving about in Linux, and finding files in directories. I'm using Kali Linux 2021 edition. The first topic is manuals. There is no way possible that I can remember all the commands and know how to use them. Everyone needs a constant availability of a cheat sheet that they can refer to. And in every Linux distro, you'll find a command that is man. Man is short for manual. Practically, you can give any commands. So for example, let's say we put man ls. So this is the manual for the list directory command. So on the top, we see that this is the ls command, the list directory command. Below, we see the synopsis. Synopsis basically refers to the syntax that we are going to be using. So by default, list will work in the directory that we are in. If we are not specifying the directory that we want to list. And this is the list of all the tags that we can use to expand the functionality of the command. So the plain man, we can use it as manual to understand what the command can do what all other attributes or options do we have. But what if we want to know what command do we use to actually list the directory. So here we can use man hyphen k and we can search for list directory and we get four commands that we can use. Similarly, we can use for something like partition and uh, Linux will give us various uh, commands that we can use to partition. Uh, not all of them are intended to do what we are planning to do. So we can read through the manual of each of the commands or we can read through the synopsis of each of the commands and decide upon uh, which one do we want to really use. So something like if you want to create a partition, then we can use gparted, which is here. And it's a genome partition editor for manipulating this partitions. Uh, we can also use fdisk for the same purpose. So using man hyphen k option, we can go through this. Similarly, apropos is also a very similar command that we can use. And uh, the results are absolutely the same. Man is a very powerful tool. If you were to open manual of say something like gparted and you do not know how to use the command, uh, the, you'll also find in certain command the example is given. So like in gparted, there is an example given to of how you can actually use this command. Example for not all the commands are available, but for some of the commands, there are available and uh, it becomes a very useful part. If you were to go through those examples, it really helps you, especially if you are a new user. So let's move to the other section now. That is how to move about in Linux. So we know that how to use change directory and list commands. We know how to list our directory and then uh, if you want to go into a certain directory say something like desktop we know uh, we can do cd desktop and then we, if you we want to go back one space then we can do cd dot dot or if you want to go to the root directory from the sub directory we can directly go by cd slash and we can like i said in the last video that we can use pwd which is print work directory tells us which directory we are in currently and if we were to do just cd we come back to the home directory of the user. So in our case, this is slash home slash mankumal. Like in Windows and Linux, we can use CLI interface to create directory by using mkdir command and say let we want to create website. So now we have directory which is website. And if we were to go into website directory and we want to create some sub directories, say uh, we want to create a new directory like config we can create that so it will be created under the website so if we enter config and we do a pwd now now we are in home mancomal website config this seems to be a bit cumbersome so we can directly create a parent directory and sub directories with a single command with mkdir hyphen p uh, we let's say my new website and then we do a slash and we say uh, we want to create one folder which is config and one we want to create is public folder one we want to create is a download folder inside the curly brackets and boom 
Now this will create a my new website which is going to be the parent directory and config public and download are going to reside in this parent directory that is my new website. So let's see this. Uh, let's do a list first and uh, yeah we have this uh, new directory here so let's enter this new directory and inside this new directory we have three subdirectories which is config download and public so to remove a file say something like my web dot text uh, we can simply issue a command my rm my web dot text and the file will be removed so if you want to remove something like directory if we issue a command say rm website which is our directory here which we just created we get an error it's a directory we cannot remove it like this if you go into man rm we can actually see how we can remove uh, we can use two tags one is we can force and the other is that we can remove recursive this is something that we can use to remove directories and their contents recursively that means everything that is going to be there is going to be removed so we'll remove the website directory and my new website that we just created rm tag rf to remove website now this has removed recursively everything that was there in website even the subdirectory so this is gone now and let's remove the other one also which is my new website again uh, all the uh, subdirectories and the main parent directory is gone now so these are very basic commands of Linux that helps you move around in the CLI interface uh, it, especially if you don't have GUI which uh, most of the time you will not as a system administrator uh, you'll be mostly working on SSH or terminal screen etc and uh, the availability of GUI is next to null so let's go into the last set of topic for today that is finding files in directories now here we I want to talk to you about two commands the first command is to locate a file for this you will need a package that is mlocate so in case you don't have it you can install it with uh, apt or yum in case you have an rhel that is red hat enterprise linux uh, something like centos or fedora so you can use apt install mlocate uh, i'm using uh, sudo as i'm not the root user uh, in my system it is already installed so it's not going to do anything in case you don't have it you can use yum or apt and in case you are installed as a sudo user do use the sudo prefix before the command once you are done uh, the first command that you need to issue is update db so this will update all the files and the folders that are there in your linux into a database internally uh, it will take a bit of time say about a minute or two so my database update uh, took a bit of time uh, it actually got stuck so now it's done so once the database is updated uh, this database will contain all the list of the files and the directory names now you can search the directory or the file name that is that you need to know the directory or the file name so for example i want to locate uh, where is a windows command nc.exe which is uh, netcat for windows and uh, i get three results which is in user share checklist web shells uh, user share SQL Ninja apps and user share windows resources binaries but there's a problem with locate uh, so for example if I were to locate PowerShell which is again a windows thing and uh, in Kali Linux you have a provision for that you have some windows resources available uh, the problem with locate is that it will list out everything anything that starts with PowerShell in the directory and anything that has PowerShell in the file name everything is going to get listed and that's a lot of uh, results to go through but nevertheless locate is a very important command if you want to locate some specific uh, file name or a directory name so the second command that is very versatile uh, in linux is find um, in my case i'm going to uh, find a file so i'm going to do uh, do a tag of type type defines uh, if i'm trying to find a file folder or a link the second tag that I will place is that I want to find something which uses someone I know has created. So when I do this, uh, what I get is that there's a home directory or someone I know and they have a my secret something text in it. 
uh, let's see if we can read that text uh, let me cap that text uh, file and let's see what that user is what's what's the secret of that user so okay you found my secret find is a very powerful tool and if we go into find manual there are a lot of tags available that we can use we can use user as i used it just now we can search even the day start that is uh, we can measure time uh, when it was created 24 hours ago one day ago three days ago or something like that we can also search uh, the file on the type if if it's of a certain size whether it is in bytes kilobytes or megabytes or gigabytes or something like that so find is a very very versatile tool this is something that you can understand only by practicing uh, constantly on the Linux CLI. You can pick up some challenges online. Uh, I'll be coming up with the next video to tell you about some of those challenges where you can actually go and test yourself on the Linux command line. This is something that really helps you uh, to get very familiarized with yourself with the Linux command line. So that's it for today. I hope you liked today's video and uh, do press the subscribe button to get the latest updates on my channel. Do let me know what you think about today's video. I would love to hear what you think about uh, the videos that I'm creating and until we meet the next time, goodbye.